Welcome back. Today I will show you how to create this awesome TV screen shader in Blender. It's super simple. Let's go ahead and get right into it. As you can see, this is what we're going to be creating today. It's super cool, very useful for a lot of different types of projects. So let's go ahead and open up a new document here. So we're in our new document and as you guessed, I'm going to delete the default cube. I'm going to delete the light. Go ahead and make sure you're using cycles here and we want to be using our GPU. First thing I'm going to do is go into my world settings and I'm going to make my world color completely black here. I'm going to go ahead and add in a plane here for our floor. So I'm just going to scale that up really nice and big there, just like that. Now in order to import an image as planes, which is what we're going to do next, you want to go ahead and go into your preferences here. Uh, you're going to go into the add-on section and you're going to type in image and you're gonna get this little option here, import image as planes, make sure that is checked. Now that we have that setting turned on, I'm gonna to go to add image, image as planes. Now I'm just gonna select an image that I've downloaded offline that I think looks really cool for this tutorial. Now I can't see anything right now because we're in solid view, but if you go ahead and zoom in here and you would click on material preview, you'll see our image right here. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm actually gonna bring that above our plane right here so it's barely touching the plane. Now I'm gonna go over to our shading tab and I'm gonna zoom in again on our plane here and make sure you're clicked on our images planes and then you wanna zoom out so you can see all these nodes and you wanna separate them so we can work with them. First you wanna delete this middle node here by pressing X and then you wanna add in an emission node just like this and you wanna put this in between the first two nodes here. Now you wanna plug in the color to the color and the emission to the surface and then for our strength I'm gonna choose five. Now if we go to our rendered view here, you'll see that we have our plane already lit up. There's just a few final touches that I'm going to add to make this look more like a TV screen. So while I have my plane selected here, I'm actually going to duplicate it using Shift D and press Enter. And I'm actually going to move it behind like this. Then I'm going to go to my Materials tab and I'm actually just going to take that material away. And then I'm going to create a new material. And I'm just going to bring this plane very, very close to the original one so it's barely touching the back. That way we don't have any light spillage on the back there. And it looks like only this part, the front of the screen, is emitting light. Now I'm gonna go back to my layout tab here and I'm just gonna make a little frame for our image here. All I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add in a cube and then I'm just gonna mess with the scaling so that I can create my frame on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up but you can go ahead and watch as I do what I do here. So as you can see, I've just created this. So as you can see, I've just created this little frame outside of our picture here. And if I go back into my rendered view, you can kind of see that frame here. Feel free to apply any type of shader that you want to that. I just did that just for aesthetic purposes. Guys, I do also want to point out that this does work for videos here. So I imported a video as planes too. So when you go to select your image as planes, you just select a movie file. And if I go ahead and play my timeline here, you can see that it's clearly playing our video and we still have that nice emission right there. So just a little pro tip for you. So if you wanna add either an image as planes for your images or your videos, it's gonna work both ways. Again, if we go to our shading tab, you'll see I just have my emission uh, node here plugged in from my video. So it works both ways there, it's really nice. That's it guys, that's the tutorial. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel. I am trying to put out more videos as we go. If you guys have something that you'd like to see me cover next time, please let me know. If not, just go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know if you end up using this technique in a future project, and I will see you in the next tutorial.